Today's horror manga dub narration is Lips from the horror anthology Last Stab by Jinji Ito and written by Hihara Hirokatsu. I hope you all enjoy. It happened when Enko was in her third grade class of elementary school. One day, when she got up and turned around, she noticed that her wardrobe looked somehow different than usual. Her wardrobe was just a normal two-door dark brown wooden model. A big white square-shaped area appeared on the doors all of a sudden. What exactly was that? That looked like a big piece of shoji paper to her. The wardrobe could not be opened with this big piece of shoji paper on its wooden doors. And the paper texture looks really coarse. When she tried to look closer, the big piece of shoji paper looked like it was not affixed to the wooden doors by any normal means. It looked like the wooden doors had been scooped out by somebody and the big piece of shoji paper surfaced from the inside. She did not remember seeing this sudden weird change in her wardrobe last night. She thought that perhaps it could be a prank by somebody, but it was not possible because there was no door seam on the big piece of shoji paper. Her mind went blank for a moment. During so, Something black appeared to emerge out of the big piece of paper. When she began to wonder about it, the black something became bigger and bigger. Then, a lip-shaped pattern was forming like some ink drawing. A pair of lips. But why lips? She gave it an even closer look and noticed that the lip-shaped pattern had a shadow. A shadow only meant that the lips-shaped pattern was developing into a 3D object. She began to get goosebumps. In the meantime, she heard her mother yelling, Breakfast time now! When she was finally able to think again, she went to the kitchen to try to tell her mother about her sighting. But her mother did not take her daughter very seriously. The helpless and co finished her breakfast faster than her usual. Then, she ran back to her room as quick as possible. That was when she saw the wardrobe again. And it was back to normal. Where was that big piece of shoji paper? And what about that developing lip-shaped 3D object? Well... She could not do anything else besides think about it. Could it have just been an illusion? An illusion that she saw right after she got up. Then, she went to school just like usual, and things stayed normal for a few days. Yet, one evening, when Enko was back home from school, in her room she saw the same big piece of shoji paper again. This time, she was sure that it was no illusion. She got the courage. She tried to touch the paper, and it really did feel like a piece of shoji paper. How the heck was some paper growing on a wooden wardrobe like that? The more she began to think about it, that was when the pattern developed into a 3D object once again. But this time, Nobody was yelling at her, so she was able to see what the developing 3D lips could become. After a short while, it had developed fully to a big mouth with a pair of red lips. She was getting more and more goosebumps this time. She kept wondering if this big red mouth would open and speak something horrible. She stepped back a little while keeping her eyes on her wardrobe. Yet, it looked like its development was actually put on hold. 
Nothing more was actually happening to it after it had become red and looked more realistic. After a while, she finally had the courage to touch the red lips. She thought to herself, Hmm, will I get bitten by this weird mouth? She tried to move her right hand toward it while well, she was in doubt and awe about it. When she was actually able to touch the big red mouth, her mother in the kitchen yelled at her, Hey, you're back home already? Then come here to give me a helping hand. She looked at the direction of the kitchen that moment and heard her mother's yelling. The next moment, when she looked back at the big red mouth, she saw that it was now wide open. She stared inside of it, moving her hand closer. And then, inside the big red mouth, she saw the darkest and deepest space she had ever seen before. She screamed, screamed like crazy, and tried to run to the kitchen at her full speed. When she finally calmed down, she tried to go and see her wardrobe once again. And just like last time, it was once again back to normal. After that second time, Enko now and then would see the same pair of red lips for about ten times over. But then, it never did open once again. After she moved to another place years later, the pair of red lips had never appeared once again. For that is the story of the mysterious wooden wardrobe. I hope you all enjoyed. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching. I'd like to take this time to give a very special thanks to my Patreons and YouTube members. Sarah De Jesus, Moto Surf, Leo, Ace and Animus, and Alleyway. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. And remember, you're important and you matter. Have a good night, everyone. Bye.